Okay, so I'm back. I've finally got my studio back together um, so I can make you another video. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to make some drum sounds with the SH-101 and the MC-202. Uh, now for this, basically, um, it's kind of useful if you've done the gate modification on the 202. You can use the, the standard gate in, uh, but as I said, it's a little bit awkward with that before, you know, because it, it, it lags a little bit. Of course, you could always program your drum sounds in the internal sequencer and sync it. It wouldn't be a problem then. So I'm going to use the 202 to make, um, it's kind of like an 808 bass sound, and then I'm going to use the 101 to make like a snare sound. So the first thing we do, if we want to get uh, a sound, and this is what the 202 sounds like at the moment. It's just a standard sound. So the first thing to do would be to take away the oscillators so there's no sound being made. Turn the frequency down and the resonance all the way up. So we're going to get some self-oscillation. Now if you have your envelope hooked up uh, and you add a little bit of that, this will actually change the pitch. All the way down low and all the way up high. So as you can already hear, lower setting. Uh, and you adjust the ADSR. And that sounds very 808 to me. So, uh, since we're using external gate, the first thing to do is, will be to set the pitch. So I'm going to press the lowest key here. I think it's an F. Then I can adjust the envelope to suit. And that's basically a pitch sweep on the envelope. Okay, so that one's ready. Let's go over to the 101. As you hear, that's just a normal synth sound again. So in this case, I'm going to take away the oscillators as well. And we're left with nothing. And I'll add the noise. So the 202 doesn't have the noise. We can't make snares with that. And we, you know, that's a very basic snare sound. Adjust the ADSR. And we've, we've got somewhat of a snare sound. Now you can add the oscillators in again, uh, the triangle, and then add some uh, LFO modulation. Pitch modulation on the triangle, or the sawtooth rather. And add a little bit of square wave as well. And I just keep adjusting it until I get a sound that I like. Okay, so I've got a kind of a snare sound there. Um, I can adjust it in a moment. The next thing you're going to need is some way to trigger these. And I'm going to use the 606 trigger outputs. So I'll just make sure that the 606 pattern is cleared. And let's see. I'll find some cables. So I'm going to use the low tom trigger on the 606 to trigger the bass drum on the 202. So I'll connect that to the gate in. And... For the snare drum, I'm going to use the high tom trigger on the 606. So I'll connect that up to the 101. And so I'm, I've got this running as the master sync. So I'll just start that off. And you see the 606 starts. I'm in right mode and I go to the low tom. So I'll put in some bass drums. This is the, obviously the 202 making the sound, so a little bit of adjustment. So if I go to the high tom now, I'll put some snares in. On the 101.
you see that works. Uh, now you're not limited, obviously, to just making bass drums and snare drums. Now if you've got a, if you've got a 606 as well, you can just use instead of using the toms on the 606, you can use the other two machines as percussion because the bass drum is very similar to the tom anyway. So you just adjust the pitch of that, and then you can use the 606. So let's start that off again, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just my hi hat set up first. See, I mean, you can just get lost with this. You can, you know, set up a couple of these. If you've got a six and six, it's perfect because it's got two trigger outputs. And of course, you can always mirror the outputs of those you, and by turning the toms back on. As you can say, it's, it's, it's endless fun, really. I mean, you're just limited by your imagination and, and what you can do. So to, just to recap, if you want to do a bass drum uh, with a 202 or the 101, you um, you just have to turn the oscillators off and put the, the resonance of the filter into self-oscillation and then just use an envelope to shape it. And the envelope will uh, you know affect the pitch and also the st sustain will affect that as well. Uh, and if you want to do a snare drum, you can't do that on the, on the 202 because you don't have a noise circuit. So you, unless you've made a, a, a noise, an input, you could use the noise then. But on, it's better to use the 101 for that. And, you know, again, take away the oscillators, just put the noise up to maximum. And then you just need some gating. And let's like say the 66 is perfect for that. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back again with some more in the future, as you know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then.